Good morning. It is breakfast time, and today we're making a hash on the Blackstone. It's one of our favorite meals to have. It's so easy to do. It's basically just everything that you want piled all in together and you eat in a bowl, but we love it. It's time to cook it, and it feels really nice out, so it's Blackstone time. All right, here's what our hash will consist of. Homegrown potatoes, turkey sausage, onion, and a bell pepper. Almost ready to commission. Eggs, of course, too. It goes on everything once it's done and we make a little big scrambled. Get you tagine all day. And then this is my Blackstone. It's a two burner. Uh, Jen got it for me last year on Father's Day and I love this thing. My favorite thing is to cook breakfast on it. The one thing I've noticed, at least for mine, I don't know if everybody else's, this thing gets real, real hot, so you do not need much heat. I usually go medium low to cook everything, and that gets everything nice and scaldy. But it's warming up right now. I got a little oil on it uh, to grease her down, but let's do this. Oh, I wish y'all could smell this. So good. So y'all kind of saw the order. The taters take the longest, and you want to get the peppers, then the sausage, then you throw the eggs right on top. And now I'm just letting the eggs kind of cook to make sure that they get fully done. Man, it smells so good. And other really exciting news. This little girl's turning six. You excited? Yeah. She just woke up. Um, however, I'm not sure if y'all are going to see this on Monday or Tuesday, but Tuesday the 14th is Ray Ray's birthday. The big six. She's getting big on us, y'all. When we first started this, I mean, shoot, she was like, how old were you? Four? Four years old? So y'all no, got three. Three? You probably were three. <laughs> so y'all have officially like gotten to see her grow up. Tell, say everybody say happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Breakfast is served. We'll be right back. Should mention, this is like our camping breakfast. Like, and it's like when it started, and we like fell in love with having this hash every once in a while. Um, it's so easy when you can't just throw anything in a big cast iron over top of the fire, and that's where this kind of got started. Um, and every once in a while, we like to have it. It's like a, a treat that we have. Uh, remind us of when we used to go camping a lot. All right, so now that we're past the whole cream extravaganza, <laughs> we just freeze dried watermelon strips, and y'all. This stuff is good. It's really good. What does it taste like? It tastes like fresh watermelon. It does taste like fresh watermelon. But it's crunchy. So I said it tasted very similar to like a Jolly Rancher. Right. Now, like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. That's just very crunchy. Um, we always like to try things that are actually freeze dried. Cause I mean, sometimes you just want to snack and that's kind of what it would be like this. Yeah. So very cool, very good. Um, we will put one in water and see how it does to come back. Cause that watermelon feels like a hard thing to come back to form, but pretty friggin' delicious. And it only took 19 hours, which really surprised me. I thought watermelon, cause it's full of juice and liquid, right? It would take a lot longer. Um, but we did, very dense, though. yeah, we, we didn't have room in the freezer, but we did put it in the fridge for about six hours before we freeze dried it. So that might've helped at least get it in the cool area, but pretty cool. so good. And then it, oh, excuse all the vodka in the back. That is not for drinking, that's for tinctures. It is almost Ray Ray's birthday. 
And so we are making Orbeez in here that Grammy got her. That's pretty cool, isn't it, Ray Ray? Yeah. Ah, breakfast was good. So what's next? What's next for us? What's next for everything? Well, time to get ready for winter. That's right, hay time. So we like to have it, now that we actually have good barns, they see the hay and they want some. That's the cows behind you. Um, it's always good to be stocked up for hay and not have to rely on getting hay during the winter time. So I'm gonna be getting several loads of these. I'm starting out with 40. We're gonna be loading them up underneath here. So I've got to clean that area out real quick. Um, and then we'll start loading. But yeah, huge sense of security having a buttload of hay for the winter especially since we have these guys to get through the winter. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, why not just get round bells, why square bells? Um, I, don't, I don't have anything against round bells. Like they're great and they're fine and I have a tractor that can load one. Um, I just like square bells better. To me, there's less waste. Um, you're not gonna get moldy um, because if, it's, if you don't have a way to cover up the hay that they're eating in, it's just gonna get rained on and don't nobody like soggy, tight hay that's wet. Um, and then you're gonna start getting that mold in there. Plus. Wherever it's sitting, like you, it's gonna kill that ground underneath of it, just like a pool liner wood or something, or a silage tarp. Um, so you wanna move your round bells of hell, hay in a bunch of different spots of your pasture. So, I mean, it's just my preference. It's easier to handle, easier to move. If I need to throw a bell of hay out of there, I just throw a bell of hay out of there. Um, complete preference, I think round bells, you're gonna get a little bit cheaper, so that's obviously a plus. Um, and you don't need as many uh, to get through the winter, but I don't know, just our choice. I just wanted to acknowledge that why we didn't get round bells. And just like that, they're put away. One thing some people mention about hay is I ain't got nowhere to put it, right? Um, that's a legit concern. By the way, Ray Ray, thank you for your help. Yeah, <laughs> her mommy went and let Tilly out of the barn. Or out of her pen, out of the barn. Um, but you know, this is 40 bells, actually 39, because I gave one to my babies because they were sitting there. Just didn't feel right loading hay and not giving them some. So there's 39 bells in this little bitty spot. We still have all of that to fill up so you look at this i'm gonna say it's 10 by 10 10 by 15 maybe of amount of space that covers up hay that'll keep completely dry and it's 39 bells um you know that's at least over a month worth of hay for something you could definitely throw a little shelter up for this um if you needed to find a place to house hay and have you really farmed if you haven't spent a 90 degree day slinging some bells of hay i don't think so okay folks so we went um, and grab some mums, which we'll show you all that here in a minute. Um, at this little bitty, it's got the red barn. It's a really cool little place. This one dude runs it. Um, but he had some mums. We got them. He said, y'all want some cats? I said, nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we had been looking for kittens for Raylan's birthday. Yeah. Um, because she wanted They had three dropped off there. And he's like, they're going to end up getting killed here. They're he, older. They're probably 
Maybe 12 weeks. Maybe. Anybody grab one? We just got here. <laughs> um, yeah. So he's like, yeah, they normally die on the road right here because he's yeah. right on the road. It's like, okay, bud. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> um, so we are home with three kittens and yeah. some mums and yeah. pumpkins. And pumpkins. If we can find one, we'll show them to you. They're adorable. Kisses. So here is either Jill or Diane. How about <laughs> Isabel? Oh, getting some water. Good girl. Pretty calico I color. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that that was uh Yogi. that was Jill. That was Jill. Alright, hit it. Don't run him, don't run him, don't run him. That's Jill. That's Donia. Here's this one that's got a little brown in her. <laughs> and then there's one that looks like our Kiki that's more black and white. And that's Donia. They're already just destroying things. <laughs> <laughs> you happy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Give him a little bite to eat. Is that good? I'm hungry. And now all three of them together. <laughs> Just kind of check this out here. Sniff them out, big They're Kiki. Babies, Kiki. You wanted a baby. There you go. Oh, no, she didn't like it. Probably shouldn't touch her. It's okay, Kiki. It's okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It's okay, Kiki. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> How'd you give him my food? <laughs> How'd you do that? I'm... We're all good here. Okay, everything's good. Kiki. <laughs> Look, this one's scrapping. He's like, oh. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about it. Say it to my face. You're gonna be nice. You're gonna be nice, Kiki. We're babies. <laughs> Y'all go ahead and eat. You okay? No, no, no. Wait, wait, she's back. No, okay. No. No. <laughs> Kiki. Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing fine. She's They're sounding crazy. We, she's we, just letting them know that this is her territory. Yeah. We just let it naturally. We didn't hold nobody. Everybody was just in here. Um, Jed has two cats there in the basement. Yeah. So we went through all this before. It just takes some time. Yeah. You just stay calm and let them all figure it out. And they'll all be sharing it eventually. Yeah. And you just monitor. And she such. really did want babies. She's, I've been yeah. playing videos of um, little cruel. kittens <laughs> mew mewing. And she just searches the house. Not mad. Not with that howl. Like she yeah. just cries. She wants babies. Ellie. Ellie said more animals. Um, so the plan for these, um, they are going to live in our house for a little bit. Um, we're fine if cats are in and out. We do want them out, though. Like, you can't... <laughs> um, but the reason, I mean, I know some do. Her mom does. My mother-in-law, Grandma Karen, has a bunch of cats in the house. Um, but we want them to be barn cats. Help out. Kill some mice, yeah. moles, stuff like that. Kiki around the place. does, too, but it's it's a lot of mice for just one cat. Y'all seen the size yeah. of you know, Kiki. She's yeah. a little slower. Needs uh, a little help. Yeah, I mean, she gets one every once in a while, but not near the pace that we needed to. <laughs> Anyways, they're going to stay in here for a couple weeks um, just so they know this is home. The thing about barn cats, normally barn cats, like, come to you. Like, they, they just end up on your property. Um, so you don't have any fear. But where we brought these here, we don't want them to, like, try to run home. So we want them to know this is home. Really, just like with any animal, we keep them cooped up for a couple of weeks, and then they can freely go in and out as they please. But. We did it with Kiki, too. We moved here. And mm -hmm. She looked out the windows for about three weeks, and then she finally got the courage to go out, and she knows yep. the boundaries now. So yeah, she never goes past or yeah. even towards the gate or anything, which is the main key. You don't want them to go to the road. Um, okay, so there is fun number one of the day. Very exciting. Um, now I am going to go outside and get all the mums and the pumpkins out, and I think Jen and I are going to start decorating out yes. there. Decorate the porch. Yep. <laughs>
All right, what do y'all think? I love it. Got the two hanging at the top. Got our big yellow ones here. Got the corn stalks. And then all of it kind of just filtering down. The fall blankets. And then of course the fall blankets. Love it, I love our porch. Our, our reef that we keep on all year is finally back in style. Yep. It's got the pumpkins <laughs> on it. Oh, it looks very good. It's starting to look a lot like fall. Yep. But I agree, I think we need a straw bell there. Mm -hmm. and a straw bell there and we can put these two big pumpkins on it. Yeah. When we go to cheerleading, we can go grab something for farmers. Pretty. Okay, so it's been a really good day here on the farm. Um, I just I always feel good. First, just doing physical activity. I always feel better when I get a little exercise in. Um, but it was nice to get the some of the hay up. We'll be doing that several more rounds. Um, and then we went out. I mean, it, it's a funny story. We're, we'll keep it short, but... We went to this farm that was not ready, like it said it was ready, but it wasn't ready. Although they had these beautiful pictures on their website of like a petting zoo and corn mazes and hay rides and all this stuff. And we get there and they acted like we were crazy. Yeah, like almost like we were trespassing or something. And I was like, this is the farm, right? And they're and like, it, yeah. It actually came from it, a sign that was in town telling yeah. you to go there. Yeah. It's like crazy. I didn't make this up. Right. Revert back to when I was talking about our store and how like, we drove into something that we that's not what we expected it was really uncomfortable it really was <laughs> so we left there but when we passed we found a place called the red barn mm -hmm. um like we had mentioned that's where we found the cats and then that's where we found all the moms and stuff so we got all the beautiful moms and the pumpkins really great deals out there it's one nice thing about being a small town there's not a whole lot of price gouging going on yeah. they just want to sell them and move them um and then yeah we got the cats yeah. so, you know Raylan wanted one kitten for a birthday so there it is. <laughs> um, but, you know, because uh, since this is right after the last video that we posted, uh, we did want to mention, thank you all. Man, we, I, was, I wasn't I was nervous to post it, but we were definitely hesitant yeah. uh, on if we wanted to open that bag. But like we mentioned in the video, uh, we do have a platform we wanted to speak up. Um, so now is what's next. You know, the what's next is not drowning in that decision, right? So once you've made that decision of whatever it is that you're going to do, it's time to move on. Don't drag yourself down every single day, worried about what decisions are being made. Make yours and move forward. And so that's what we're doing here. Um, the path is still getting the Airbnb up, getting the store up, enjoying the fall that's about to come in here and moving forward with our lives and figuring out what's gonna happen from here on out. But you can't sorrow in it. You gotta keep your head up, smile, move forward, and make like we had mentioned in another video, one small step forward, every single day because a little bit of productivity is better than none at all that's right all right y'all if you haven't subscribed make sure to down below we love you until the next one <laughs> bye, bye.